is a beautiful Batelier eagle sitting in its dead tree. So here we go. And once again, just much like the African hawk eagle, getting a bit of sunshine, waiting for thermals to start. They know that with the sun coming up and a bright day that we've got, that thermals will soon be rising and they can then spend their time using the thermals to fly and find food. The thing about a Batelier eagle is that they generally don't soar too high because they are trying to look for carrion. So they go along and they find a thermal, get up a little bit. So once they spot some carrion, they're then down and spending time. And that's why they've got such a short tail. Like in fact, if you look at this adult, you'd see its wing feathers protrude way beyond where its tail is. So there is no tail there. Those are wing feathers that you see hanging down. The tail is very short and it means that these guys are actually quite unstable in flight in comparison to that hawk eagle that we saw had quite a nice long tail. The hawk eagle, given that it hunts on the wing, is going to be chasing and having to turn and having to be very agile while it's out in the air and, and moving around chasing its prey animals. Whereas this is feeding off generally dead things that don't move, so as long as it can get up and can see what's going on from the air, it can then come down quite sort of haphazardly and doesn't have to worry about too, being too agile when it's coming down to feed. But Batelier eagles have got to be one of the most beautiful eagles in the world. This jet black coloration that they've got, that big round robust head with feathers that seem to flap in the breeze and then that red face with that white, I mean that yellow little tip to the beak and then those bright red legs are very pretty birds. You'll find that also they have this white brown patch along the back area and this particular bird we can actually sex, which is quite cool from it sitting down. So a lot of the eagles are very difficult to sex because male and females look very similar. But in the case of a Batelier eagle, we're able to tell whether it's male or female while it sits down. So you have a situation where they, depending on the coloration that is shown, will to tell you which one it is. Now this particular bird is a male, and I'll show you why it's a male now in the book. So if you have a look here, we've got our female and our male. Over here, the male, you see, has got a black wing structure, which is what we saw on that one. Whereas the female, you see, she's got a very big white bar that you see on the wing when they're at rest. So you can sex them just by them sitting down. And then when they fly, you'll find that that white bar that you see there, the reason why you're seeing it is if you look here, the male has a very big black trailing edge. And so the white part of the wing on the other side is blocked out by black, whereas the female you see has got a tiny little trailing edge on her wing and that's why the white shows up when she's at rest. That's a way to be able to tell. Now the juveniles are a brown drab color. They go from that coloration over there, brown and drab and we're really lacking any red or yellow or black and they go then into the immature phase where you can see the white spits start coming through and then to that. But from brown to that take seven years for this bird to reach those colors so really quite amazing that it goes it has to get to an adult seven years long it's really quite incredible nice but our birds of prey will be down on like i say it's been a, it's a